guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here welcome i know i have been posting in the last few weeks and that's because i've been so busy with the traveling and also editing and recording new videos to upload so you guys stay tuned in this video i'll be walking you through the steps in withdrawing your funds from the mt4 app into your YouGosWay wallet and then from your YouGosWay wallet into your bank account using Velo. Let's get right into it. So I have my laptop in front of me so I'll be sharing my screen so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. First and foremost, you need to make sure that your YouGosWay account and your Velo account is verified. So for the verification of the accounts, you do need to upload some documentation, whether it's your driver's license, bank statement. They'll usually tell you specifically what you need to upload in order to get your account verified. You will not be able to make any withdrawal without having your account verified. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to log into my VLOAD account. Cool. I'm in. Um, these are some steps that is very crucial in order for you to withdraw your funds successfully. So the first thing you need to make sure that is done is you need to go to my accounts. After you go to my accounts, you want to ensure that your account is tier two. If your account is tier one, no problem. You can easily upgrade it to tier two. But when you upgrade it to tier two, it just gives you more access to withdraw more funds. So when you upgrade, you get access to withdraw $25,000. Right? So this is how you would upgrade your tier from tier one to tier two. You just have to provide some extra documentation. When that all goes through, you'll be good to go so the next step is you need to go to where it says unlock cash out right this is very important unlock unlock cash out right you want to make sure that your vload account is verified this process can take a few days <laughs> it can take a few days right so you want to make sure you upload all this information that they need to verify your account once your account is verified, it's going to look just like mine right here. Everything checked off. All right. And the FATCA form, that's just for tax purposes. And when I withdraw this money, it's going to go straight to my bank account on file. That's why you're putting this information here. Where it says bank account information, when you upload your bank details that they asked you for in your bank statement for the last 30 days, um, this just helps when you're making a withdrawal, your funds just go straight to your bank account that you have on file here. After you upload all your documentation that they're asking you for under this section here, below is going to send you an email right away, um, pretty much just saying congratulations, your account is not verified. So once you have this done, you're all good to go. Now let's say you need to upload some extra stuff get that done as soon as possible now that your vload account is set up and verified completely the next step is we got to log into yugo's way and do an internal transfer so we'll be transferring the funds from your mt4 account to your yugo's way wallet Let me just put in the code that I got. All right, cool. So after I log in, this is how the dashboard looks, right? So the first thing that I need to do is I need to do an internal transfer, right? In the left hand corner, where it says internal transfer. I'm gonna click on that because I need to do an internal transfer, All right? So I'm gonna click on the transfer type. The transfer type is going to be MetaTrader to wallet because I'm taking it from my MetaTrader 
trading account to this wallet up here, right? In my Yugo Swipe. Select from amount. So in my trading account, I have $1,620 currently in there. So I'm gonna select that account. Now where it says select wallet, I'm gonna do US dollars because most people have US dollars um, as their you know, currency for their wallet. So I'm gonna do that. Now after I do that, it's gonna ask me for the amount that I want to transfer. I'm gonna withdraw 1,000. Let me do the calculations real quick. Oh, I'm bad with math, okay? Don't judge me. All right, so I'm gonna withdraw 1,120, right? That should leave my account with $500. Then I'm gonna press request transfer. Let that load. Boom. All right, cool. So <laughs> I just got an email from you this way. All right. So now, as you guys can see, that $1,120 is now sitting in my wallet, in my Yugo's way account up here, right? So the second step that I need to do, right, it's called a withdrawal because now I got to withdraw this $1,120 from my wallet. So I'm going to press withdrawal. Where it says select wallet, 1,120 USD. And then I'm gonna choose VLOAD. And for the amounts, I am, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm gonna do 940. I'm gonna do 940. It's like an odd number. But whatever. All right. So I'm going to request withdrawal. Now it's asking me for my VLOAD email. So I'm going to put that down here right now. It's Yugo's way. Whatever method of funding you used, you have to use that same method to withdraw. If you funded your account with for example, Bitcoin, you're gonna have to make a withdrawal for Bitcoin equal to the same amount or greater of what you initially invested. So it automatically logs you out automatically whenever you're doing withdrawal for whatever reason. So I'll just sign back in, no problem. Here at the top, it's showing me that in my wallet, I now have $180. I'm withdrawing $940, but it's pending right now. So at the bottom here, it also shows me that it is pending. Just waiting for that to confirm. This usually takes about 24 hours, give or take. So this whole time I'm recording this video for you and this entire time I had my AirPods on and I had no idea because regularly I always have my AirPods in my ears so it's like second nature. So I was editing some of the footage and I realized when I was watching the video I was like oh my AirPods but it's fine I took them out because I'm not about to re-record this video. Mm -mm. No. So now that we're waiting for Yugo's wait to complete that withdrawal and send it to VLOAD, you're gonna log back into VLOAD, right? That pro that process takes a few days. So now what you're gonna do is after you get that confirmation sent to VLOAD that your funds are there, you're going to log into VLOAD. Now when you log in, you're going to now go to the right hand corner where the little profile is and you're going to press on payout vouchers. Now when you press payout vouchers, it's going to show you the amount of money. In my case, my voucher bundle says $940 because that's what I'm withdrawing. 
and it also says that that amount is ready so I can withdraw that anytime I want now so to withdraw the funds from Velo, now what I'm gonna do is I have to click on single cash out after I press single cash out a cash out screen is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you to select your bank account again that bank account was what you initially upload you know documentations for your bank in order for you to make this withdrawal so you're gonna select that bank account that's on file now a cash out pop-up screen comes up now in that pop-up screen it's gonna ask you for the bank account right so you're gonna select the bank account that's on file after you select that it kind of gives you a little summary of the transaction so in my case like I said earlier, my bundle voucher is $940. Velo charges me a $20 fee to make this withdrawal, which is totally fine because I understand that they also have to make money and that's how they also make money because you're using their platform, you have to pay the price, right? So they're charging me $20 to use their platform and to make this withdrawal. Um, so now the amount that I'll receive after that $20 fee is deducted, it will be $920. Then I'm going to read the terms and condition, check the little box off, and finally I'm going to press cash out at the bottom. Now after I press cash out, it's going to give you like a little receipt saying the status is used. So the bundle has been used so now with that being said the total withdrawal process from this point onward waiting for the funds to get into my account it takes approximately five to seven business days so I just have to wait until then for the funds to go into my account overall though the entire process with Withdrawn from Yugos to VLOAD and then VLOAD to, to my bank account. I would say give it a week to get everything all done. An entire week. That's excluding your account being verified. Make sure you get your account verified first because that takes a few days as well. So make sure you get that first before anything. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.